Hi, writers. I'm going to read to you a story, and um, after I'm done reading it, I want you to think about the story, and I'm going to have you do an illustration, and I want you to do some writing around it. So listen to the story, and you can always um, go back and re-listen to it when you're about to do your writing and your um, illustrating if you need to listen to it again. So the story I'm about to read is called The Legend of Sky Woman. Um, it's also the story, it could also be called Turtle Island Story. And this story is um, a story that a lot of Native American tribes, um, it's like a story about how the land that we live on got created. So it's called what we call a creation story. And so um, this is a story that's in uh, Braiding Sweetgrass, Robin Kimmerer, Wall Kimmerer's book that we've been focusing on this week. Uh, in her book, it's kind of long and has a lot of details. I'm not going to read you the whole story right now. I'm just going to read you kind of a short version of the story. Okay, so go ahead and listen to this. Long ago, before the earth was here, everything was all water. Many creatures lived in the water, swimming about, and far above in the clouds in the sky, there was a land where lived a powerful chief, and his wife was going to have a baby. She was pregnant. In the sky land, there was a great tree with very large roots stretching out in each of the four sacred directions, north, south, east, west. The great tree was growing many kinds of fruits and flowers. One night, the chief's wife dreamed about the great tree that had been uprooted. And the chief thought that this was a dream of great power. So he's listening to his dream, thinking we need to do something with this dream. And it must be fulfilled. With great effort, the tree was uprooted, leaving a large hole in the sky in the four sacred directions, north, south, east, and west. The chief's wife leaned to look through the hole. But she lost her balance and fell. Grasping at the tree as she fell, she only managed to hold on to a handful of seeds. Now the water creatures below saw her falling. They saw this in the sky, saw as it was happening, and they realized that she was not a water creature and tried desperately to think of a way to help her. Now some of the birds had an idea, and they went up there and they swooped underneath her and caught her. But then they also said, we can't do this forever. We can't hold her forever like this. They worked really hard keeping her afloat. I have heard, said one of the creatures, that there is earth far below the water. Perhaps we should try to get some for her to stand on. And one by one, the animals tried to dive down far enough to retrieve land. But one by one, they failed. They kept trying and they kept trying and the birds were holding her. And then they said, we can't do it any longer. And Turtle said, you can come stand on my back. I'll hold you afloat. So she went and they landed on Turtle's back. But Turtle again said, I can't hold her forever. Finally, a brave little muskrat tried one last time. He was the littlest guy and they were all like, I don't know if he can do it. I don't think he can do it. But he dove and he went deeper and he went deeper until the little muskrat thought her lungs were going to explode. But suddenly she found a little bit of land, scooping it up. She frantically swam to the surface. But alas, where to put the land? Turtle said, put it on my back. I will hold up the land and the Sky Woman. So put that dirt and mud up on top of the back where Sky Woman was. And the animals kept going and they kept getting more and more and more and scooping it and putting up on Turtle's back. And so they did. And Sky Woman landed safely on Turtle's, lived safely on Turtle's back and was very thankful. And she had those seeds in her hands. So she cast those about in the dirt and the land became ever so beautiful. And that's the story of Sky Woman and how the land formed. And then lots of the little creatures that used to be in the water developed in ways that they could go up on the land too. And they could live and they could use the seeds that she planted, turn into all these beautiful fruits and plants and vegetables for them to live on and to eat. And so we like that story because, um, because both the animals and the land help the human and the human also helps them in return. So what I want you to do after hearing that story is I want you to do some writing 
and this is an idea of some of the writing you can do. You can write about however it makes you feel or what it makes you think. You could also do similar to what we did before, where we did an I notice or I wonder. Something else you might wonder about Sky Woman or Turtle Island or something else you noticed in the story. And I also want you to do an illustration. I love you to do an illustration. You can use um, paints or you can use collage just like we saw in the video yesterday um, with the botanist right or you can use colored pencils or crayons but I want you to take some of your nice art paper and I want you to make a picture of whatever thing you think of about sky woman it could be her up in the sky world it could be her falling it could be the animals diving for that um diving for the mud below it could be her on the turtle it could be after she's planted her seeds on turtle and it becomes turtle island so anything that you want to draw and i want you to go into seesaw and i would like you to share um, your writing with me today and your illustration because again what we're going to do is we're going to submit all those ideas so that um, robin wall kimmerer when she comes to speak with you next week um, can choose some of the questions and maybe she'll choose one of yours. Maybe not, but maybe she will. So um, go ahead and submit those to me on Seesaw. All right, have fun writing and have fun illustrating.